Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got one of the blaster boxes of Heritage High Number 2023 Tops Baseball. Uh, figured I'll open up at least one of these. I'm sure I'll probably open up another one of these on the channel down the road, but uh, I picked up one for now. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, Heritage, there's two Heritage sets that come out each year. There's a regular Tops Heritage that comes out usually in April. Uh, it's a 500 card checklist. Uh, first 400 cards are your base cards. Cards 401 to 500. Short prints, where you can only get one every four packs. So it is tough to put that set together. Heritage high number. This set is a lot easier to piece together. Uh, it's a 200 card base set and then a 25 card uh, short print set. So if you want to collect the whole set, you got 725 cards to collect, um, which... Some people like it, some people don't, which I completely understand. Um, but Heritage, it's, I don't mind opening up a little bit of it from time to time. So um, so with that, you get, uh, as I'm talking about the, the history of Heritage almost, uh, you get 72 cards. Uh, I think you got, what, eight packs, nine cards per pack. Um, you know, you can look for chrome variations. You can look for hot boxes uh, where you get at least one chrome in every pack. But usually, I usually don't have too much luck with that. But we got Tyler Wells, Abreu, Merrifield, Brandon Fott, Peraza, which Peraza is a short print. Cole Reagans, uh, Brian Anderson, Trey Turner, and then Jake Cave. Um, and then, like I said, too, you know, with the uh, your card number here. So anything 701 to 725 will be short prints. Uh, they are one in every... Uh, three packs, I believe, actually. Uh, yeah, one in three packs. Pretty much the only pack eyes that you get within these uh, boxes nowadays. Everything's now on the Tops website for your pack odds. But Victor Robles, Anthony Rendon, Ring Nonador, Gregory Santos, Kyle Gibson. Uh, no, nothing there. Kyle Stowers. No, that's just a regular rookie. We got Adam Hazley, Chris Stratton, and Devin Williams. I mean, the checklist, checklist is okay. I mean, if you get lucky with uh, an auto, a relic, you know, it's always nice. We do get a chrome in this one. Uh, we got Cal Stevenson, Jose Hernandez. We got Dominic Fletcher. We got Twins, Pablo Lopez. Uh, Todd Bradley, rookie performers behind that. It's not too bad, but the Pablo Lopez, the uh, 274. So, all right, something. Rookie performers, uh, Taj Bradley. Not a horrible name. Stone Garrett, Brent Rooker, Avisal Garcia, and then Mark Kana. Um, definitely curious to see how uh, Bradley develops in the majors. Um, but, you know, so far our first little first hit. Pablo Lopez. For the Twins. All right, let's see what we got. We got Hobie Harris. Tristan Beck. Gus Varlin, Peyton Battenfield, Enrique Hernandez. We got uh, Enrique Hernandez is a short print. We got Tommy Pham, Bernardo Lopez, Yanni Brio, and Julian. So not a bad rookie there. We got Yoshida. Okay, we're hitting some of the better rookies that are in this set. Granky, Ruiz, Juan Yepes, and then we get one of the uh, little post uh, stamp cards, excuse me, uh, with the White Sox. We got uh, Rich Gossage, which, man, I didn't even recognize that was him at first. Um, Michael Kopech, Tuki Toussaint, Toussaint, excuse me, and then Dylan Cease. Um, nah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind these, actually. Something different. Do get a Jordan Walker base, so can't complain there. J.D. Davis, Kodai Senga, and then Romy Gonzalez. So I think realistically, out of the base rookies, I think the only one we're really missing, well, maybe two, Chris, Trish and Casa and uh, Josh uh, Young. So realistically, we hit, we hit most of the base, the, the better ones so far. We got Nolan Arnado, Tyler Stevenson, Will Benson, uh, Vince Velaquez, 
Now and then, now and then, excuse me, bat slam home run, Reese Haskins. That's a pretty cool picture, though, even though it is a Philly. Uh, Conforto, McCutcheon, Berrios, and TJ Friedel. So, all right, two packs left. We got Fujinami, uh, Giolito, Mason Engelhart. Zach Nito. Actually, that's another decent rookie, actually. Uh, Diaz, if I remember correctly, he is a... Yep, he is a short print. Carlos Vargas. Then we got the Taj Bradley base rookie. Duval, And then Savala. And with that, brings us to our last pack. We got Tim Heron. Levi Stout. Higashio. Uh, Higashio. Cody Bolton. Kevin Kiermeyer, Jesse Schollins, I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right, and doesn't really look like a guy in a short print, David Bednar, I'm pretty sure, yep, and then Peterson, and then, all right, Matt McLean to finish it off, so, overall, so-so uh, box, really, I mean, really, realistically, the box wasn't too, too bad, box could have been way worse, uh, we, you know, we probably hit, I don't know, Probably maybe five of the, the top rookies in this set. Josh Young, Casas are probably two of the ones that that uh, are that I can think of that aren't slipping my mind. That's in this rookie set. Um, but I know a lot. You know, pretty much any of the Corbin Carrolls or Rutschman cards, stuff like that. They're pretty much more just only inserts in this set. But uh, no base of those. But uh, I mean, realistically too, like nothing really crazy insert wise. A Taj Bradley, but. Uh, and then these stamp cards, which I, I'm pretty confident these are a retail exclusive as well. I could be mistaken on that. But and then we did hit Chrome, which there's no guarantee of getting a Chrome in every box. So, um, But anyway, if you liked the video, greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on it. Leave any comments on Topps Heritage High Number. I did open up a hobby box of this just a couple of days ago on the channel. So if you want to check that out as well, if you want to see more Heritage opening. Um, most likely when this video is uh, posted, I will most likely have completed a heritage break of uh, two hobby boxes too. So you can look for that. We'll probably also be doing a retail break as well at some point this weekend. Uh, as You know, just for the fun of it, check it out. Check out the, uh, the retail product with some of the megas. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there with uh, some of the releases that are going to be up and coming. So with that... Like I said, if you liked the video, appreciate it. Like, or leave any comments on Heritage High Number. I always like to hear your guys' opinions on any of these products. And then also, too, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate it. You subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys again for watching. Have a great night.